people i am jane m and this is jane m tv welcome or welcome back to my channel please like share comment and subscribe please <laughs> we are trying to grow the channel and yeah i'll pretty much appreciate your support thank you so today we will be talking about how i decided to make a corset with cups tutorial course it's an online course that I'll be launching soon and hopefully by the end of this video I'll have posted the link in my social media platforms mainly Instagram Facebook and YouTube so um, let's just begin from where I began with this whole fashion thing I've always truly loved fashion as a kid I used to play with dolls like every other girl and we made clothes my sister and I for our dolls for our Tasma Monotanas <laughs> if you've seen them those tiny ones from Pep anyway um, but I've always liked one thing like wedding gowns and the common theme in wedding gowns is that very tight fitted bodice and then that beautiful ball gown that princess look I've always loved it and then we moved to well, the 21st century where um, now the skirt would, you know, mold and shape your body and then whoosh, <laughs> like a mermaid or, yeah, that type of silhouette. So I have always loved, like, the bra cup situation that happened at the boobish. So your girl decided to uh, enlist some help from Bomila Tshueshe, you know, the ladies who stitch traditional dresses. So I went over there and they were very gracious. They taught me all they knew for a very affordable price too, if I might add. If you are somebody who's trying to learn how to stitch and not looking for this complicated stuff, just simple things, Bomila Tshueshe are your people. Please go and learn with them. But I also offer classes if that's what you want. You can DM me or leave me a comment down below. Talk to me. Anyhow you can, talk to me. So one time my sister was going to a wedding. Actually, we were all going to a wedding. And I decided to, with the knowledge that I had at the time, to make her a beautiful dress in my mind. <laughs> We will see if that was <laughs> the truth, but I decided to make her a dress. Obviously, my love, corset, cups. Let's see what happened. So this is what actually happened. Oh my God! Guys, guys. <laughs> Boom, this is, this is what I did. This is what I did for my sister and she wore it graciously. She wore it and she was happy. People were complimenting me, telling me, oh my God, you did such a great job. But deep down, you know, deep down I knew that some way a girl done fucked up. That's what I did. The cups are very flat. There's nothing cup about this. It's just a flat panel. There's literally like a cup inside a foam cup inside that i bought there's an underwire like can you see doesn't it doesn't bend and i did that little point at the top because clearly that's probably what i i wanted to do <sighs> this was atrocious this was horrible so after seeing what i attended oh my, sister, my god i decided you know what i need to really follow this passion deeper so I enrolled in fashion school, got to fashion school, first year, we are not really doing anything challenging. I had learned how to thread a sewing machine, an overlocker, how to use both machines. And right now I was just over there relearning the things that I already learned from Bomeba uh, Dushesh. So I was disappointed in first year. Second year, we go ahead and we learn other things. Maybe, I think tailoring was one of them. And a bit of corsetry. 
like a, a tad bit of cosetry. And I asked my lecturer, I was like, so why is it that we're in second year and you're not really diving and delving deep into like certain things like um, tailoring, like corsetry, because I do really want to learn how to make cups. And my lecturer at that time just said, girl, uh, over here, we give you just enough so that you go into the world and harness your skills while you are in the field. And I was like, okay, this is disappointing because we are paying a lot of money to actually learn these things here. And that did not really help my situation. Come graduation, I decided to do another corset for my graduation outfit. I'll insert a picture if I have somewhere here. Uh, and this is what we came up with. <laughs> this is what I, I was trying to do. I'll insert a picture of this the design that i wanted to achieve somewhere there up here but what i wanted what i got basically side by side the cup is still flat and there's a bit of cup hitch there yes but it wasn't deep enough to like contain my boobies <laughs> the light is gonna mess things up for me okay see okay yeah it doesn't want to show but um it's it's clearly it's not far from the predecessor cup that I did. I'm trying to run from the light, but the light is just you know trying me. But look, they are almost similar, but the other one has a bit of you know capesh nyana, nothing to write home about. So I got really stressed. I decided to go ahead and research further on YouTube, on Pinterest, on Instagram. And on Instagram, I just found this amazing designer from Russia. The brand is Aurora So. That's what you'll find. I'll insert the handle here. And I was like, okay, I wonder what she does. I'm just going through her feed. I love everything that I'm seeing. I love the cups. But before we get into that, after watching a bit of um, of YouTube videos, some ladies from Nigeria who really do patterns nicely, I was like, okay, let me take whatever they're saying here and use what I, I got from them, including what I got from fashion school, mesh them together and try and figure this thing out. And this is the... <laughs> The corset that I came up with and this was a design from Old Poly. I'll just set a picture here or a, a video of my process during the whole time I was doing this because I was filming a bunch of Insta stories because I wanted to record and have a, a record of my progress and process. I had notes also in my in my uh, thingy yeah but I had Anyway, I had notes. I wrote notes and I had that video footage recording I did on Insta stories. And this is what I, I came up with. There's a bit of shape, like a tiny bit of shape and a bit of cup hitch inside. I lined this and there's an underwire. But it was nothing like what I'd seen clearly on Opoli. And I was still disappointed. This was not what I wanted. So I went ahead and asked the lady from Aurora. I was like, okay, do you have a course that I can follow, you know, so that I can get the kind of cups that you do on your wedding gowns? And she was like, no, I have. I have courses on, on, on here. And she showed me one that's done in English because she's Russian. And I enrolled basically because I wanted to know she gave me a password and I signed in and everything and what I got from there, another disappointment. <sighs> she only gave me patterns that came in a folder like this. So this are patterns like on, on an A4 paper, you just cut them out. They already have a seam allowance. And you cut them out and you start stitching 
she gave me uh, a size 38 and a size 36 and they're really really small they're really small sizes and these are the cups these are the cups so she gives you every pattern in those two sizes and she, she shows you how to stitch the corset, the process of stitching the corset itself, the cups and how to do foam cups, DIY foam cups. That's where I learned that. And yeah, all of that good just she teaches you, but she doesn't teach you how to start your own pattern from scratch. And I went ahead in her DMs, I was like, okay, lady, I paid you a lot of money for you not to have taught me how to draft my own cups from scratch. So do you... Is there another course I can pay for where I can learn how to do, do this from scratch? And she was like, no, I don't offer that. I do not offer that. You have patterns, just follow the tutorial that I gave you. And from that course, I made my sister this dress. It's a gorgeous, oh my God, it's a gorgeous dress. I will insert a picture of the inspiration if I still have it. I, I got it from Pinterest. I was like, okay, let me try it. It has this uh, bow tie thing on top. And it has a loop closure at the back. Okay. And a modesty panel inside. Okay. Loop closure at the back. Cups in front. And a bow tie thing on the shoulders to keep it up. This dress is gorgeous. My sister doesn't have a picture where she took in this dress, like a close and clear picture. I don't know when we will do that, but that was the dress I did with this uh, basic blocks that she gave me. Because they're basic blocks at the From that, I made a dress. I still did not know how I would do a dress for a different client who is much thicker with a different body shape so i went back to youtube and pinterest and on youtube i found another lady from nigeria who also did the the cups the bra cups on her um tutorial and i was like okay there was one thing that she did that i had like i looked in my notes i went i looked back into my notes and i was like oh oh like mind blowing there was one thing i did not do yo and after doing that one thing that i got from that lady my course was complete my course was complete and i was able from that to make this i was able to to make this beautiful dress here as you can see the cups are perky like, it's a cup. Like, can we drink some tea from that? Like, beautiful. And then I began using whatever I got from Aurora. Like, this I learned from Aurora. This quilting a cup thing I learned from Aurora. Like, guys, do you see this? This is perfection. This is amazing. And then... One other thing I did also was this Jane M original corset top. Like it's a cup. I don't I don't need to even come close. Like you can see, you can see there's a cup in there. Like you can pour something in there and it would stay. Guys, come on. Come on. And I wanna show you the difference between the Aurora pattern and mine okay let me just do this see how tiny the cup is see how tiny it is it's very tiny for like it's somebody who has a tiny boob and look at this look at my one it's bigger it's way bigger because i used my own bust radius so i know how much cuppage I need for my, my boob. And that is covered in my uh, tutorial course. See, small and bigger, right? 
right all right guys i guess you can see man you can see like the proof is in the pudding i don't need to to do much i don't need to say much the difference is huge the difference is huge do you see it do you come on come on it, it. and i thank god before anyone else i thank god for the struggle that i went through because from that i have mastered something that i've always wanted to know for a long time so thank god before everyone else and then thank god for meeting all of those people i met on youtube on pinterest and on instagram i thank god for those people because i had to meet them i had to somehow my my roads had to lead to these people so that i could i could achieve what i needed to achieve so with this said guys please 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 support my new course tell everybody who wants to learn or oh, and this course from aurora if it's something that you want to do the course is 2250 2250 uh and mine my course that teaches you from scratch how to make your own patterns is 2050 so yeah if you want to go the aurora route where you're given patterns already and then you're gonna struggle how to create them that's your that's your choice and if you want to follow my one go ahead girl you will learn how to make your own pattern from scratch you will also learn how to um how to create it up to different sizes i'm going to be stitching a wedding gown soon and i want to use all of the techniques that i learned from youtube that i've learned from everyone that i've met because all of those things i did not learn from school some of them i had to finesse some of them i had to um research a bunch of research a lot a lot of um data went into that so yeah guys stick with me let's grow this channel together watch the growth because my brand is also launching pretty soon guys do you see do you see the growth that's coming i hope you stick with me rock with me i'm i'm gonna have a, a 1k giveaway once we reach 1k i'm gonna have a 1k giveaway so let's rock together